happens at the glass. The tight knit diving community in Santa Barbara struggles to make sense of the tragedy that unfolded early Monday morning on the Conception. It must have been something that happened really fast, and um, there was nothing anybody could do. John Ford knows the vessel all too well. I know the crew. This boat is the safest boat. Um, my daughter, who's over there, goes out there on the junior guards. I've been on it dozens of times. Ford and so many others continue to arrive at the Santa Barbara dock where the ill-fated concession was housed. I've been on that boat. I've been fishing and diving yeah. there. I really, I'm really sorry about everything. It's a tragedy. It's a really big tragedy. I just, I can't even imagine being on that boat. I've seen the bunks and I know where I slept one time. I'm sad. The FBI and NTSB continue to investigate the deadly fire, spending time on Truth Aquatic's other boat, Vision. The two boats had similar setups. It's tight quarters. There could be difficulties with uh, evacuation, but I'm not a survival uh, factors expert. We have those here who are going to look at it. How many exits were there? There's uh, one on each end. There is a. There are steps on one end and then there is an escape hatch on the other end. Is the escape hatch easy to reach? It is accessible by a ladder on top of a bunk. Now the company has canceled future diving trips out of respect to the victims. Santa Barbara has been through a lot. Mike McGrew is a chaplain with the Santa Barbara Police Department. He says he's here to help the community and first responders deal with the grief and loss. We're no stranger to disaster. We just, we, we just came off of one with the Montecito debris flow. Um, but, but we do know that um, to, to come around each other is a very important thing. For Sylvia Hahn, she says she finds some comfort in one thing. And I'm sorry, and you know, they died doing what they loved. Now, the NTSB tells us that they still have plenty of interviews to uh, do. They say that they should have a preliminary report out in about 10 days. They say it could take 12 to 18 months to get their full report. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News. Amy, thank you. In the meantime, we are learning more about the victims in the boat fire, including a father and his daughter. Scott and Kendra Chan were among those killed. Kendra was a biologist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and her dad was a physics teacher at a high school in Fremont up in the Bay Area. Lisa Fieldler.